design and printing. Today we're going to go real quick over some notes right here, how to make a multi-page PDF, particularly from InDesign. And the reason you want to do this is to provide us, your printer, or any other printer, uh, with a nice press-ready PDF that can be sent straight to the raster image processor, also known as a RIP, and that's what allows us to make plates. So you don't want to send one file, if you have 40, 40, for example, 40 names of people that need a business card, what you can do is send one file with 40 pages. Okay, and even better, in InDesign here, what we can do, um, we can just go ahead and set up. That's the best way to get started, is to set up a new document and I guess we may as well just put we'll just put 25 pages here I don't want to use facing pages and the standard business card is 3.5 by 2 I tend to go zero margins all the way around some people like pikas I just stick with inches um, 0.125 is good for a bleed and just click OK now this is not going to be the prettiest artwork ever but you see here all your pages, 25. And if you click here, you can see them all here too. I always want to go Command plus and Command minus is great. And uh, so let's just say we have a logo. If you notice, I am on the master page. So whatever I put on the master page, it's going to show up on all pages. We tend to use a lot of nice uh, vector art. Um, but this is just placeholder. So as you can see, that's applied to all those pages. And uh, I can modify the master at any time. For now, let's just make it something different. Sample, as I said. Do, 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 do. And just for kicks, we're going to put that in. I'd like to put it in as a Pantone. Um, I think that's probably another video. But we'll just do a quick spot. Color table, Pantone, uh, solid uncoded. And I know I'm going fast for those of you that aren't familiar with this, but this is a, another video so there's your so let's say that's consistent on all pages and then for example at the bottom is the address consistent on all cards and actually you can change it you can override this master page information um, at any time on any page wherever you want and uh, I want to go to view my paragraph right now which is uh, typing tables paragraph so InDesign is not you know not just like jump it's not the kind of program you just jump in and use but um, a lot of people have it so it's a good program to know so then I would come to you, my page, my actual individuals, and this is where, you know, the real work comes in is, typically what I do is name, I mean, not that you'd lay it out with exactly like this, but the name, the information that changes, you know, um, would be, what I do is I just typeset it on individual pages, and then, you just you know select it copy it click on the next page and there's a shortcut for this but what I do is paste in place and do that on every one that you go down and uh, typically to do a, a large file a large amount of business cards like this people will send you an Excel spreadsheet or a text document uh, you know and you start editing and then that's how you finish out all your cards like that. Copy, paste, copy, paste. 
Uh, there's probably more. There's probably even better ways to do that if you use styles and uh, um, master page. You know, there may be more to the master page that I'm leaving out, but you can override master pages. So yeah, I want to override it on. I go to page three. Double click. Um, override all master page items. So as you see, they came alive there. And then I can click and. Maybe the bottom address is for a different location here. So there you go. Now, how do you make that? Uh, how do you make that PDF? Well, let's just do something different with the. Let's just put a full bleed in in this in the background. Um, and make it gray. Because I want to show you bleeds when you export your PDF. So. Here's how it goes. The this is the edge of the artwork that prints. And the red line is the bleed. You can go beyond the bleed if you want like that. Some people like to be really precise. And again, this is on all my pages because I used that as, as the master. So you can see they're all gray. And uh, separations keep always keep separations in mind if you're doing um, Pantone printing or if you're as you can see, I have no cyan, magenta, yellow in here, just black in the one Pantone. So moving ahead, go to export. Now you want to save this, of course. Save your work. This is gonna, you're not gonna just throw this file together. This is probably gonna take you a few days um, <clears throat> once you have all the names in. So once you're ready to send it to us or to another printer, you want to hit export and I'm just going to export to desktop right now and call it temp uh, demo multi page so my format is Adobe PDF and make sure you choose print not interactive save uh, and then you get all these important uh, selections here we're doing all pages you know you could select a range and put it here I don't worry about this right now. I'm not compatibility. I don't worry about that too much. It's not that important. Of course, what I like to do is just use high quality print. It's a preset. Um, some printers recall for PDF X's. I don't mess with those, at least not at this time of this video. <clears throat> so then compression, don't mess with that. It's taken care of through your high quality print preset. Marks and bleeds. Let's just show crops. This, this offset here shows how much um, the crops are moved out. And you want them moved out a little. You don't want your crop marks touching. We don't need any of this. You can put it in if you want. Um, the document does apparently... Okay, we're going to use document bleed settings, which I set up in my uh, when I created the document. And there you go. Ready to export. You really don't need to deal with too much of this other stuff. So let's go to the desktop and let's go to our PDF. You can even view it here. Notice that the orange didn't show up as an orange. That might just be in the preview. So there you can see. Look at this. So when I send this page to an uh, interpreter that's creating plates for our printer, all of these go in and boom, boom, boom. It, we, can we can print you know, hundreds of business cards um, in, in, you know, you break it up into some, several uh, several runs, but uh, we can effectively print the files and create the plates in uh, a rapid fashion and get our jobs turned around quickly. So people, jobs don't take a month. They don't take three weeks. They don't take two weeks. You can get cards like this in, in seven days, five days maybe, and for smaller orders, three to five days. So again, uh, thanks for watching. I, it's sort of a technical video, but I'm trying to get the word out a little bit quickly. So um, uh, again, Andy Holt, HD Design and Printing. Call us. Talk to my business partner, Damien, or anyone uh, at the shop can help you out. And we can uh, certainly guide you in, in helping you to get the files set up correctly. Take care. Bye-bye.